Hey guys, this week for Weapons Wednesday, we're going to check out a bunch of our new items, including the Stealth Spartan Naginata, and I'm going to get soaked in the process. But before we begin, if you could just like this video and subscribe to our channel, that would be awesome. So, as usual, I had Amanda go back to the warehouse and grab some of our newest items for us. She already packaged them up for me so that I don't know what they are. That way I can give a fair and honest review of each product. And there are links to all of the products in the video description, so be sure to check that out if you want more information on the products. But without further ado, Amanda, hand me the first item. There you go. Awesome. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, a stun gun. We have not done a stun gun in a while. This is called the mini stun gun. So let's take a look at this. Okay, so it's just a little guy. This thing's about the size of a USB flash drive. So I like that. I like how it's uh, kind of inconspicuous, just looks small, tiny, pretty awesome. Um, the only thing about these little stun guns is I'm always just a little bit dubious about how strong they're going to be. Uh, so I think it's important that we check it out. Um, the manufacturer says that this is approximately 20 million volts. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know that we don't take that number seriously because the manufacturers just put a voltage number on their products that is stronger than other stun guns to make them look like they're stronger. So we don't really take that number seriously. What we do do is we like to listen to the crackle of the stun gun to see how loud they are so let's test that first okay I mean it's not very loud so that makes me think that this might not be the strongest stun gun as well um, and then also we have to test them out so we'll do that in a minute um, but with this stun gun it looks like there's a button here for an LED flashlight so I just kind of flip that and it lights up the LED flashlight so that's kind of cool I like that um, and then it is approximately three and a half inches by one inch. So I really like that about it. I like how it's so small, it just fits in your pocket. Can't tell I have it in there, but if I needed it, I could just pull it out and use it. Um, it's rechargeable with this USB cord. So that's kind of nice. You just plug it in and charge it up. Uh, and it weighs approximately 1.4 ounces. So super light. Uh, that's pretty cool. And it's got this key ring on it, so we could just add it to your keychain. I like that about it. Um, but again, a stun gun this size always scares me a little bit because I don't know how powerful it's going to be. Um, so if I were going to carry something like this, I would make sure that I had some other self-defense techniques available to me to use um, because I would be worried that something like this wouldn't be strong enough to take down an attacker. But we have to test that out. We have to see how strong this thing's actually going to be. It might surprise me. Sometimes these little stun guns surprise me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand this over to Amanda and I'm going to have her stun me right here in the arm. Seems like a pretty good spot. We've tried a bunch of different areas. We've tried the hip. Arm seems like a pretty good spot for me to test how powerful this thing is. So, all right, Amanda, here we go. And then right. just to show you, there's a safety right here. So if you want to turn the safety on or off, there's a little button there. And then to use it, you just push that up. And why don't you try it real quick? Yeah, so, all right, here we go. Oh, jeez. Okay, that, <laughs> that actually, that actually really hurt. Um, I'm actually surprised with how strong that was. It, it hurt quite a bit in the arm and it gave me that kind of tingling sensation that kind of tensed up all my muscles. So I think that would be effective enough to at least scare someone and, you know, get them to move away from you. But again, a stun gun this size, I would definitely want to have some other self-defense techniques available to you. Um, but uh, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome for a little tiny stun gun. I'm very impressed with how strong that was. So pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and put this away and check something else. Okay, go. awesome. Thank you. Okay, cool. So these are the Helix Butterfly Trainers. We've been doing a lot of butterfly knives lately. Um, I actually like how we're increasing our number of butterfly trainer knives. Um, and these ones are really nice. I like this. Okay, so we've got right here, we've got the Steel Helix Butterfly Trainer. So let's just take a look at that. It's pretty cool. Um, 
first off, it looks like it's got a standard latch, which I actually prefer. I grew up with standard latches, and I like that better than the spring latches. Spring latches are really popular now. People really like them. I like them too, but I'm just used to the standard latch. It just makes it really easy for me to perform a trick. So, I don't know. I like that. Um, this one's still a little bit tight, so it's going to be hard to do tricks with. But um, the handle, I love this handle. It's got this kind of spiral design to it. I don't know if you can see that on camera very well, but I really like that. And what's nice about that is I can kind of flip it, twist it in my hand really easy because of that spiral design. Yeah, it, it kind of just twists really nicely in my hand. So yeah, just a little different. Um, yeah, I actually like that better than just a standard square handle. Um, and then the design, the color of this is just really cool. Like I like that kind of steel looking color. I think that's so cool. The blade on this is completely dull. Uh, which is nice. I mean, I kind of wish I would have had one of these when I was learning the butterfly knife when I was younger uh, because I did cut myself quite a few times. I actually remember one time in particular where I was doing these flips, these kind of flip tricks, which I don't really do much of anymore. But um, someone came up from behind and kind of scared me, did a boo type of thing, and I actually stabbed into my hand like that, and I still have a scar in my hand from it. So a trainer knife would have been nice back in the day when I was learning how to use these things. Um, but yeah, let's look at the other one. Okay, this is actually really cool. So this is called the Blue Helix Butterfly Trainer. And look how cool that is. It's like a metallic blue, shines really nice, um, catches the light just perfectly. And um, yeah, really awesome. Um, oh wow, that flows, that flows better than the steel one. Just like, I, I'm guessing it's just like because of this kind of glossy metallic coloring they've got on it, it just really, yeah, I really like this. I actually might take one of these home and play with that. Oh, wow. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. Um, yeah, blade again is completely dull, but looks really cool, really shiny. One of the other things I really like about these is they use rivets instead of screws. Um, there's a lot of people who will argue with me about that. People love the screws because it allows them to tighten them to the exact play that they want. Also allows them to remove the screws and add in a trainer blade or a comb blade or a standard blade. I love the rivets. I grew up with rivets. I love them because they're usually a specific amount of tension, which just you get used to and it never changes. So it's like perfect. But I don't know. I think if I was gonna get a trainer knife, this would be perfect for me. Like I absolutely love this, especially this blue one. The blue one flows really nice. The, the steel one maybe looks a little bit more, I don't know, maybe a little bit more uh, masculine possibly or something, but really, really cool. I think they're both just awesome trainer knives. Um, very cool. But uh, anyway, I'll go ahead and put these away and let's try something else. All right, Amanda, what you got next for me? <laughs> perfect, perfect. Okay. <laughs> the Titan Stun Baton. Um, <laughs> all right, apparently we're doing two stun guns today, and this one does not look like a small one like the other one, uh, but... To be fair, we haven't done a stun gun in a while, so I guess we're doing stun guns today. Um, this is a Titan Stun Baton. Actually, just upon feeling it, it's really nice. Like, yeah, that's got a really good amount of weight to it. It feels like it's really strong. Um, it's made out of an aircraft aluminum, and you can tell this is just a quality, well-made stun baton. It's got these little uh, jagged metal bumps on the end, which is actually really painful. Like you can see, you can see the markings in my hand. Like it's leaving markings, it's really hurting. I, I can imagine that this would be an excellent stun baton for even striking. So I really like that about it. Um, one of the things I like to say about stun batons is um, they're great because they give you the additional weapon if the stun isn't enough. At least you have something to strike with. So. I think that's pretty cool. And this one feels like a really good quality one. Um, all right, so let's look at it. We have this kind of nylon uh, holder right here. It's like a little belt holster, which is cool. Um, I like the small little belt holsters like this. I think they're pretty cool, but the cool thing about this one is it actually has this clip on there too, which if I have the option of a clip 
or a holster, I'll choose the clip every time because if we look at this, we just throw that on and then if we need it, grab it really quick and you can use it. So I like the clip, I think that's awesome. Um, this thing is approximately 19 inches, which is great because that gives you a really good reach with your baton. I like being able to keep as much distance as possible between you and the attacker. Um, it weighs about one pound, two ounces, which is a really good weight. It's not so heavy that it's gonna to be tough to swing, but it's also heavy enough to give you some good momentum behind it. So I really like that about it. Um, the handle, the handle's really comfortable. It gives you a good grip, I like that. Um, I guess the only negative I see is that the handle isn't quite long enough. Like I wish this ledge was just maybe an inch lower. That would be nice. It's not uncomfortable. It actually still feels really comfortable for me, but I have fairly big hands, so it actually it kind of sits on that ledge right there, which I'm not a huge fan of. I'd rather it be a little bit longer, but um, really, as far as comfort goes, it feels good. It feels like a really good, solid baton. I like that. Um, let's see what we have. So we've got a safety on the bottom. So we can turn that on and then it looks like we've got an LED light and the LED light actually has multiple light modes. So if I hit the switch again, that's a dull light, do there, then we've got the strobe light effect, which could be really good for grabbing people's attention or we've got the bright light. So that's pretty nice. Um, and then if we push this button up one more time, it turns on the stun. We can see the red light shows that the stun is on hit the button, and let's see how loud this is. Um, oh, this is kind of cool. I've actually, this is so rare to see, so rare. The manufacturer actually does not state a voltage on the stun baton. I can't tell you how much I respect that. I actually really like the fact that the manufacturer did not put that on there because it's such a deceiving thing to put on the stun guns to say that they are like a stun gun this size, a stun baton this size would normally say 100 million volts or it would say 200 million volts. This one doesn't say anything. So we've got to check it to see how strong it actually is. So let's first start with hearing the crackle, see how loud it is. Okay, so that's pretty loud. That's a pretty loud crackle. Um, and I have a feeling this is going to be really strong, a lot stronger than the last one I did, which, oh, I hate that. <laughs> I really hate that. So. I hope you didn't put any more stun guns in here because I don't want to try any more today. Um, Just wait and see. Oh, <laughs> All right, and there's nothing more I need to really tell you about this, so I guess I got to keep moving on with the video. So let's just hand this over to Amanda. Okay, test it out. Oh gosh, okay, here we go. Ah, jeez! It's just not cool. <laughs> not cool at all. The handle's comfortable uh, for me though when I do yeah, small Yeah, check that out. Check the handle on your hand. How's that feel? Yeah, so that works perfect for okay, me. Okay, show them in the camera like how close it is to the bottom. Dang, I'm yeah. still shaking on that thing. <laughs> it's definitely more comfortable for me, but I do have smaller hands obviously. I'm sweating. I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> I, ah, okay. Okay, I'm all tingly. Good. I'm good. Okay. And that's about all I have to tell you about that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this away. If you have any questions on it though, leave them in the comments below. Um, yeah, it comes with, oh, I should mention, it comes with this charging cord so you can recharge it. Um, yeah, pretty awesome. I like that. Put that away. And Amanda, hand me the next item. Please, no <laughs> stun guns. Thank you. All right. Okay. <laughs> Hidden blade bullet necklace. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, I like this. It's a, a bullet necklace. So this is a replica of a 30-06 Springfield bullet, uh, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, it even says it on the bottom, has a 30-06 thing on there. Uh, pretty cool. I think just having that is kind of a cool, you could give this as a gift to someone who's really into guns. I think that's awesome. Uh, take that off, but uh, yeah, so let's see. First off, this is made out of a stainless steel. So it's a replica bullet that wasn't actually ever a real bullet. Uh, looks like it's stainless steel and then it looks like it's got a copper tip to it. 
the necklace the, is actually one of those breakaway chains, which I actually really like when it comes to neck knives. Um, some people like to switch them out for paracord so that they don't break, but breakaway chains are nice because if someone tries to actually use your necklace to strangle you, it'll just break away. So that's definitely a plus to that. Um, so let's look at how this works. So I guess I unscrew this. And then this little blade pops out, and that is a stainless steel blade. Uh, the blade length is approximately one and a half inches. So there's not a lot you could do with this. You know, I, I don't know how <laughs> viable this would be in an actual defensive situation. Uh, honestly, if I were to buy something like this and I were really into uh, guns and wanted a necklace like this, I'd probably use that for more utility purposes, like opening mail or opening boxes, you know, things like that. Um, but still pretty cool. I think it's actually a really cool thing. I like I like hidden weapons. I think they're neat. Um, let's see if there's anything else to tell you about it. The total length of this bullet is 3.5 inches approximately, um, and it weighs about 1.4 ounces. Uh, and that's about it to tell you about it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool little novelty type gift type of thing. So yeah, go ahead and put that away and uh, move on to something else. Okay. Awesome, awesome, okay, cool. Scared to open this. <laughs> okay, phew. <laughs> good, 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 good. Okay, so these are some four inch Ninja Star sets. Okay, cool. Yeah, I saw these come in, thought they were really awesome. We sell a ton of Ninja Stars. I mean, hundreds of different styles. And um, you know, the larger ones, the ones that are four inches, are probably the most popular because they give a really good weight to them. So let's just look at these. So it looks like they come four to a set and each star, let's open one of these up, each star is a five point star. So this is a four inch diameter, five point star. Um, looks like there's a little kanji on it, which is kind of cool. A little, little kanji on there. And then the weight is actually really nice. Uh, these are about two ounces each star, which is a perfect weight for throwing stars. I actually really like that. Um, sometimes they get to be too thin and too light, and then you just you don't get enough weight to be able to throw them accurately. So that's really good. Um, and then they come with these really good quality nylon cases. I think that's pretty awesome. Uh, this one's obviously got a gold finish to it, which is super cool. I actually really like finishes like this because when you're throwing them in the woods or something, uh, if you miss your target and it gets underneath some grass or some weeds, um, they're easy to find when they kind of shine like this. Uh, whereas black's a little bit more, more difficult to see. Uh, but let's look at some of the other ones. Okay, so this one right here, it's the exact same thing, but it's got this titanium finish star in there, uh, which the rainbow stars are pretty cool. Again, they shine really nicely if they get lost in the woods. Um, that looks really cool. I like that, that coloring to it. It's a really neat finish. Uh, let's see what else we've got. And this guy, we've got standard silver. So we can see that. Yeah, looks pretty nice. I mean, these are really good stars. Yeah, the black is super cool, very stealthy. I like that. Um, let's see. So we've got to test them out. Now, you know, you guys have seen me test out throwing stars a million times, um, but let's just test these out. I've got this guy here from last week's video. If you watched last week's video, you know why I use this guy. He, um, <laughs> we were taking knives and just practicing slicing to see how well the knives would slice. And the Karambit did just an amazing job of just slicing him open, which is pretty awesome. But let's pull him out here real quick. And let's see, I'm actually gonna take off his mask and take off his head. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we got the Wing Chun dummy and we got the little, little thing there to stick it on. So I'm just gonna take this watermelon, pop it in there and move him over just a little bit. So yeah, that'll be, that'll be perfect. Okay, so I'll just grab one of the, the gold stars. And as you can see, no problem at all. 
stuck right into them. I mean, these are really good stars. Um, what's so nice about these is these are the perfect stars for beginners. I mean, they're so easy to throw. I'd be willing to bet that, uh, you know, any beginner would be able to throw this accurately within a couple of throws. I mean, they're so, so easy to throw, especially the 5.1s. So yeah, pretty awesome. I like it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this away. And uh, yeah, Amanda, if you want to hand me another box. And last but not least, Another stun gun. Just <laughs> oh, that would be a huge stun gun. So I hope not. Okay, what do we have here? Okay. So this is the Stealth Spartan Naginata. Okay. Okay, we did another Naginata uh, a few weeks back. Uh, this one looks like it's just a little bit different. Um, pretty awesome. Yeah, it's got that Spartan style blade to it, uh, which is neat. I like that. Uh, yeah, look at that blade. That's pretty awesome. I like that. Let's see how sharp that is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's super sharp. I actually like that a lot. So this is called the Stealth Spartan Naginata, but this is actually kind of closer to a Nagamaki because the handle isn't that long, but uh, more people are familiar with Naginatas, so that's why we call it that. Um, looks awesome though, I actually really like it. The blade is made out of a 1065 high carbon steel, so that's gonna be a good blade, uh, easy to sharpen, gonna last you a while, I like that, super sharp. And then it's got that black's oxidized finished on it, which I really like, it gives it that stealthy look to it. Um, the handle, the handle is made out of that nylon fiber, which I absolutely love. We see that a lot nowadays. Um, just a very good material that's very durable, not gonna break on you easily. It also gives a really nice grip. So I like that a lot about it. Um, this is interesting too, because the blade on this thing, actually is full tang and goes entirely through the handle. And we can see that in the pommel down here. We actually have a hole down there that we could add a wrist strap to it if we wanted, um, which is really cool. I think that's awesome. This thing looks so modern and so nice. Uh, let's see, what else do I need to tell you about it? It's 40 inches overall with a blade length of 20 inches. The weight of this Naginata is approximately two pounds, 3.5 ounces. It feels good. It's not so heavy that it would be hard to swing. It just feels like a good, solid, high quality weapon. And I like that a lot for it. Um, let's see, it comes with this nylon sheath with a shoulder strap. So let's see how that works. Let's actually put that in there and see how that works. Okay, I guess what I like about this nylon sheath is it's got this kind of vinyl down here that um, just makes it look like it's just a little better made. I think that's vinyl. Yeah, that looks like a, a thick vinyl, so I like that. Um, oh, and it's got a clip too. I actually like that, so we can unclip it and hook it on our shoulder to the exact right length. Um, I'd have to adjust this to my length, but that's pretty cool. I actually like that a lot. I think that looks pretty awesome. Um, let's see. I can't think of much else to tell you about it. Um, just feels really comfortable, really nice, and it's super sharp too. Let's just cut this guy real quick. Oh yeah, I mean, oh man, just made a mess, but I mean, that's just sliced like nothing. I mean, I really like that. Um, but I actually want to test it on one of these guys this week. Um, I thought this would be fun. So one of our viewers mentioned that they thought it would be cool if we found a colored soda and so I found these, I didn't know how many we would need today, so I brought an extra pineapple, brought a couple of these, but I'd just like to try cutting one of these. So I'll shake it up really well, and I think it's gonna explode really nicely. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this outside. I'm not doing it in this room again because it made a huge mess last time I did it. I'll take it outside and uh, we'll just try cutting it out there. I think it's gonna make a huge mess and be super cool. So yeah, all right, let's go outside and cut this thing.
All right, so as you can tell, I got extremely soaked out there. That red soda splashed all over me and honestly got all over Amanda too, which I feel kind of bad about, but really I don't because she brought me two stun guns today, so she kind of deserves it. Uh, but I guess the thing I'm a little disappointed about is this is so sharp that it sliced through those bottles so easily that they didn't explode the way I wanted them to. Sometimes when the blades are a little more dull, it kind of hits the bottle in a way that makes them compress and explode just perfectly, but this thing's just too sharp. I mean, it's honestly got an incredibly sharp blade, so that's awesome. Uh, but if you have any questions on this item or any of the other items I showed off in this video, definitely leave them in the comments below. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel and check out KarateMart.com because we've got all sorts of cool new items on the site that I absolutely love. But until next week, we'll see you Weapons Wednesday.